And now we're going to shift our attention and talk about the Bruins. That's right, the top team in the Eastern Conference. And joining me now is the backbone, goalie Tim Thomas. And before we even get into the Bruins discussion, i got to point out what is hanging around your neck. Explain to the public what is around your neck. I think this is pretty cool. This is a cutout American Quarter. Uh, it's two things. I started wearing it when I was playing in Europe, you know, kind of my way of saying I'm American without throwing it in their faces. But... Uh, Eagle is also a symbol of uh, always reaching for greater heights, and you know that's what I always try and to it, do. And it's cut out how? Laser cut. Laser, Laser cut, cut quarter, and you—it's a good luck charm that you wear it when you're playing hockey. Yes, I wear it pretty much all the time. Well, it must be working this year. Yeah. What do you think the biggest difference between this year and last year is? Uh, you know, um, the difference is so small. The difference between success and uh, not having success is mm -hmm. so small. And I think we started to build last year, you know, the, the success we're having this year was started last year and the growth that we made as a team, but, you know, this year we added a couple more elements, you know, uh, more offensive firepower, got Patrice back, and probably that those difference right there is probably uh, the difference between this year and last. All right, I'm going to complain. I can complain, you can't, but it is an injustice that you are not on the playoff ballot. You are not on the all-star ballot, I should say, not the playoff, the all-star ballot. That is a complete injustice, and how do you feel about that? Well, you know, um, I was I was pretty surprised when I got the news. Well, yeah, because let me let me point out to the people: your tops and save percentage, you're second in the league and goals against. How do they leave you off the All Star ballot? I don't I don't really know. You know, um, all it does is really you know add more fuel to the fire for mm -hmm. me to want to do as well as I can and to make them. Uh, appreciate you more. Yeah, imagine. exactly. Fans starting to catch on. I don't know. I, I think uh, I think if, I, fans of Boston have always been great to me, and they've always supported me. So, but what about as a team? I mean, you guys, you know, being in first place and everything. Now there's you know there's some excitement in the air again. Definitely, definitely. It's uh, people are happy to talk about the Bruins right now. You know, people that have been fans but don't really want to bring it up with their with their Patriot fans and and. And Red Sox fans, now they want to bring it up. Hey, how about those Bruins? How about those know? Bruins? Yeah. I want to bring out your teammate, Milan Lucic, because he was baited last night uh, by LaRock, trying to get him into another fight, and yet he didn't take the bait. Now, here's a guy that, that beat up on Thomas Eric. Uh, you know, you guys have done well against the Montreal Canadiens. You torched him the first time around, 6-1. Uh, to one. And in that game, Lucic beat up on Thomas Eric. Last night, LaRock's trying to bait him and didn't take the bait. Yeah, well, it's uh, you know, Milan's on our first line. He's, he's, I think the best thing that he could have done was to, to score the goal, just like he did. You know, mm -hmm. that's the only way uh, that you know he can he can prove to them. You know, what are you doing? You know, I know Milan, and I know it's tough for him to uh, to turn that down because I, I don't believe he's a, he's not afraid of Larock, and, and I'm sure he wanted to do it, but that's not his role. He's trying to help out the team and stay out of that stuff, and uh, you know, I. I'm glad he got the goal last night. I wish I could have made the game winner for him. Tell me about shootouts and what goes through your mind in a shootout. Do you like it? Do you want the challenge? I mean, or is it just an unfair thing against a goalie? Well, it's it's tough because, you know, the, the margin of error is so small in, in a shootout. A, a little bit, I hate to say it, comes down a little bit to luck. And uh, it, when you win, you feel... You probably feel better than you should have, and when you lose, you probably feel worse than you should have. But it sure is nice when you're on the uh, the right side of it. What do you think the city would be like if you ever win a cup? I think it would be it would be pretty nuts. I mean, it it it's obviously been nuts for all the other sports teams, but I think there's a you know I think down deep Boston is actually has as a hockey town, and uh, you know I I see it kids are out playing uh, hockey in the driveways all over the place and. And I think it, it uh, it's looking too far ahead. We just want to take right. one game at a time. But uh, if if it ever were to happen, I think it would be pretty pretty uh, not.